Actually, the climate change is not only an environmental problem in Afghanistan, but it has contributed to the peace and uh, to treat peace and stability in Afghanistan. Uh, because though the loss of uh, ecosystem productivity uh, forced people from rural areas to migrate to urban areas, and we have the problem of in urban areas to shelter them. And this is the main issues that we are suffering now, and uh, we are losing our uh, pro uh, land productivity and land degradation is another issue, uh, soil uh, erosion and also um, glaciers uh, melting. It's, we have very, very limited glaciers uh, in my country, which is melting now, and uh, that's the major water resources in my country. This is, in general, uh, the overall uh, impact of climate change that we see now in Afghanistan. Right. And presumably with the instability in the country, in certain regions of the country, adaptation policies, I imagine, difficult to, to implement. As a post-conflict country, we have started just uh, a few years back uh, to, to work on the climate change issues. And uh, we are now we are in enabling act activities and to do what uh, the climate change needs. And adaptation is another issue that we are working on in terms of our strategies. We have developed NAPA, NAPA and NCAC, that, uh, and now we are working on the um, initial the national communication to be submitted to uh, UNFCC. These are the, the activities that Afghanistan has started initially, but uh, we hope that we can uh, uh, pursue these activities and work more on adaptation issues. Thank you very much. I mean, a country like Afghanistan, obviously poised, waiting for some kind of results out of talks like this. Uh, countries really at the, the kind of cutting edge of the climate change debate. Uh, they're not getting the results that they could perhaps uh, that they, could, they should be, perhaps be expecting. Well, they're getting far from the results that we need and are expecting. Afghanistan is one of the least developed countries and part of the least developed country group here at the climate change negotiations. They're the countries that have contributed least to climate change because they all have very low emissions, but they're countries that generally suffer the most from climate change. They have the least resources for adaptation. Um, they suffer often from loss and damage, as we've seen in the Philippines from their recent suffering from the typhoon that um, caused significant loss and damage. But the major countries, such as the US, is a, a, opposing or blocking any significant agreement on loss and damage here. We also, globally, we have failed to reduce emissions. It's 20 years since we concluded the UN FCCC treaty, and in that 20 years, global emissions have increased by about 30%. So we need much more ambition on mitigation, reducing global emissions, but also much more um, ambition on providing adaptation um, for funds for countries like Afghanistan to adapt to climate change and a mechanism to address, an international mechanism to address loss and damage. More ambition, certainly. That's a message that seems to be cutting right across the board. The ambition levels are set too low. Lack of urgency, yet at the same time, the scientific evidence is, is mounting, is, is indisputable uh, as, as to the effects of climate change. Where, where's it all going wrong? What's happening? Why, why are we not getting the results here in, in uh, Doha? Well, I'm not sure this is the best process. Uh, I've been in lots of rooms where we're arguing over sort of words of text. And, what, and even over words of text within the shared vision. I actually teach strategy, and if I was trying to get a shared vision on how we address this problem globally, I'd have a much more um, workshop or facilitated workshop process where countries get together and work out how we rapidly turn, reduce emissions, rapidly address adaptation, etc. Not just this 190 parties uh, arguing over bits of text on, on um, now electronic paper. In, in the meantime, Afghanistan is, is waiting for some kind of results and suffering the consequences of climate change. I mean, how do you view uh, the, these, these talks? I mean, it must be very frustrating for, for anybody involved in, in the Afghanistani government watching and waiting for some kind of positive results from, from Doha. Uh, well, uh, of course, if there is not a, a concrete measures here in, in, in Doha, and the, the climate in Afghanistan and the people in Afghanistan will be frustrated and also we will have another major uh, critical issues on droughts because Afghanistan, as other countries uh, suffering from uh, ri rising the seawater, we are suffering from the uh, droughts and also water resources. And uh, water resources, the, the, the major uh, sources that we will lose it in the, in the next few years. Okay, thank you both very much.